Hello, good morning, four years old. It's me, Teacher A. It's math time, and welcome to our second semester. Yes, that's right. We are already at our book two in our maths. Are you excited for our new lessons? Yes. All right. So, what do you think we will learn today? Can you guess? Aside from learning the next number, the number after 10, we are going to learn a new concept. Mm -hmm. Can you remember what you have learned so far? You already learned big, small, long, short, tall, short, heavy, and light. What about today? I will show you some examples and later you will know what we will learn. So I have here a container, two containers. Can you see the difference? Yes, this one has nothing inside and this one has something inside. It's a red liquid or red water. It's water with red coloring. And this one has definitely nothing inside. What can we say about these two containers, children? Hmm? All right. This one is empty, empty, and this one is full, full, empty and full. And another example is, I have a container with these very cute pom-poms, and this one have nothing inside, right? So what is this? Is it full or empty? Empty, correct. How about this? Hmm? It's full. Again, empty, full. Empty, full. And I have one more. You see? Ah, I have a lot of sparkly, glittery stickers. So, is this empty or full? Hmm? Is the container empty? Uh-uh. This container is full, full of glittery, sparkly sticker. So empty, empty, full, empty. This one is empty. It has nothing inside. And this one is full. All right, very good, four years old. So let's look back at all the full containers. Full of water, red water or red liquid full of sparkly glittery stickers we have full colorful pom-poms and this three containers are empty it has nothing inside empty all right very good four years old isn't this lesson interesting so later at home you can have empty and full. You can play with your cups or glasses, your plastic glasses or cups, and you can put some water inside and you can say, full of water, and you can pour out the water, then you can say, now it's empty. Very good, four years old. Now, for our number, what number comes after 10? Hmm? I bet you already know how to count your number. What number comes after 10? Hmm? So let's count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What comes after ten? That is right, four years old. It's eleven. So we will learn number eleven and the concept of full and empty. See ya! Alright children, so we are now with our book. This is our student book, book 2. And we are at lesson 11, full empty. Are you ready children? Alright, so we have here lesson 11, full empty. You see the pictures there? You have two boxes. One has books inside and the other one has nothing. So here you have full, a box full of books. And here it has nothing, so this is an empty box. And next here we have two green cups. One 
has chocolate drink or coffee inside that is full and here it has nothing this is empty again we have a cup full of chocolate or a cup full of coffee and here we have an empty cup so in our first activity what we will do is we need to match to the correct answer we have words full again full and here we have empty one more time empty so you have a sample answer the basket has nothing inside so this is empty and the cup has something inside could it could be a coffee or a chocolate drink so we say that is full how about this one and this one yes that bucket or that pail has nothing inside so that is empty and this one the wooden container it has something inside you are right children that is full okay now let's continue to the next page i want you to match and count then write down the correct answer you see here pictures of glasses hmm? these other glasses have something inside the rest don't have okay let's start to count the glasses with something inside an orange juice maybe all right let's count now one two three four five six seven eight that's right children this is eight so you write eight here number eight and is this full or empty yes it is full okay next let's count the glass that has nothing inside one two three four five six that's right children that is six so you write number six here and this is empty good job four years old so you have empty and you have full okay now let's continue with writing our number 11 like what i said you just need to write number one two times up down up down trace the number 11 carefully and write the number 11 here and when you're done children you count and color 11 popsicle sticks and and that is what you need to do count carefully and color nicely how many popsicle sticks children you need to color only 11 all right good job now let's go to your activity book book two are we ready again still at lesson 11 full and empty okay so here what we need to do is we need to count and write down the correct answer you have full empty so let's start with the full bottles first the one with shaded color all right children let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's right ten so you write number ten here how about for empty bottles let's count once again one two three four five six seven eight right children eight so again for full you have 10 bottles that are full you have eight bottles that are empty very good four years old now let's continue to the next page color the empty container in each row so which container is empty when we say empty it has nothing inside is it this one or this one that's right you color this one how about here the container with marbles which one is empty here or this one yes it's over here how about the two boxes of books which box is empty is it here or here yes it's over here how about this one 
here. Very good, four years old. Color this, 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 and this. Good job. Okay, now, and again, you need to write your number 11. Okay, and once you're done, you continue here. Count and circle the correct answer. How many birds do we have? How many soccer balls? And how many slices of cake? Can you do that, children? All right. Very good for years old.